Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to another great day of the Food Navigators. My name is Eric. I'm Caden. And I am Devin, aka The Boys. All right. Well, we're finally outside of our home today. We're actually here out in uh, Running Springs, uh, having a weekend getaway, camping uh, in the beautiful mountains of Big Bear. Uh, we're gonna be uh, staying here for about two days and we're gonna do some walking, hiking, sightseeing. I'm going to show you our little um, pod that we're staying in. So and come check it out beds, with us so. and uh, how, enjoy like, the ride. Let's go. Oh. And there's also super spiky. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Winter. And if you guys know us, uh, we're super conscious about keeping our surrounding clean, uh, especially when the boys and I are traveling on our food journeys. Uh, and our go-to equipment is actually uh, the Winter Stairmax Electrostatic uh, Sprayer. And you can see, this is it, the Stairmax it comes by in Winter. Here. Yep, and it comes in a gun like this. Uh, there's a container here for water yeah and we actually put these mb10 tablets and, in there and the case came with a, a recharger and a rechargeable battery with cord absolutely and you can use this on just about any surface so we are going to start disinfecting very soon so it sprays like a light mist oh look at that did you guys see that look it has like a little light so just disinfect everything this is actually very handy for those of you that think this is necessary and don't have the time to really like use like other stuff like Lysol and stuff and let's disinfect the handles. Now back to our video before I sterilize you. Welcome to Marcella. Open the sami. And guys as you can see there's lots of stuff here. Here's a sink. And this is like a mini fridge, okay? And guess what this is over here? You won't believe it. It's air conditioning. It doesn't look like it, right? But also there's like a burner here. It just turns off like that, on off. And guess what? This is the best place ever. The bathroom. And there's a shower in here. See, as you can see. And also, despite it being like a campground, there's still hot water. And look at these beds though. Look at how like cool it looks, right? And then look at the huge window out there. And look at this table. And that's basically it. And there's like another like stairs and a bunch of stuff. So on our way of walking, we found this cool lake, but it's blocked off. But it's pretty cool, it's like shiny. It's alligators. Check my new kicks. Mountain trekking. Are you ready for this? I can stand, I can stand on the side of this hill. Yeah, me too. We found this tree and it is huge. And I'm, I guess I'm average tall, but look, the tree is like, I'm like, if I was the tree right now, I would be like at the toenail. That's how big this tree is. So Kaden will be my assistant. Okay, ready Kaden? Okay, I'll try to throw over him. That was a bad throw. I don't know what to say. Okay guys, so this is a normal pikeon, right? Just like the size of this. But look at this. We just found this on the ground and it dropped on the floor. If this landed on you, you would be dead. And there's also super spiky. And look at look at this. Let's listen to the thud, okay? And you can also burn this as fuel. Okay guys, before we build the fire, let's do a little outside tour. So here's like the wooden table where we eat everything. And also, guess what's in here? wood look at that there's so much though as you can see there's so much wood here so come over here this is where like we sit around the campfire and also this is like the poker thingy to like move the stuff which wasn't here last time we came here and also this fire starter 
So let's get uh, fire in. So I'll be very careful. Just like one, two, and then move these over here. Like this. And you have to build like a TV kind of like this. Burning is my best. It smells like birthday cake or candles, birthday cake candles. And I'll light this. Okay guys, this is getting litty. Okay, now we just have to wait for it to burn a little, then collapse all of these. This is our dinner, which we're gonna cook on there, on this, which is that grill thing with aluminum foil. I don't know. So, this is boiled pork belly. At first, I thought it was something else, but it's pork. And here's some tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes, so I don't know. Other people will eat it. And here's some salad with pear gorgonzola dressing. And here's like some soup, I guess. And these, which are uh, sausages, the Japanese, like Japanese, I think, sausages. Berkshire pork, coarse sausage, and smoke flavor added. And these are corn that we're gonna wrap in this and cook. And this, guess what it is? Guess what it is? It says spicy. Oh, it says here, bulgogi, I think. I think that's what it says. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. And this is special. It's Wagyu or Wagyu. See, look at look at like it looks good, right? And look at this one. This is like yeah, but look, it has like veins. This one has been working out, boy. Look at that. Look at the rest of these people, losers. And this is some seaweed and a bunch of avocado. Okay guys, so I have this knife here. I'm gonna cut this yam in half. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Well, maybe you have to go like this. Maybe. I don't know. Just all around. I don't know how to cut a yam, sorry. Just like... Okay, now it's done. The job is finished. And now we wrap it in aluminum foil. Just put this like this. Just wrap it, wrap it even more. Wrap it, wrap it, wrap it like a present. Like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is almost ready to go on the grill, just maybe a little more. So, we finish. Here we have some salad. I'm just gonna pour it over into the bowl, just like this, just like this. So now we're gonna add these tomatoes. Whatever, whatever. So I'm just, I'm not gonna like toss it. Or oh, actually, I will. I'm just gonna go like this, just to mix it around a little. And this is done. This isn't actually soup, but it's cubed beets and cubed corn. Just kidding. It's just young sweet corn, whole spears. Like in order to prepare the corn, you have to just wrap it in aluminum foil. I'm probably not even doing this right, but I'm just wrapping it. You know, easy way. Let's just go like this. I think this is done now. This is here, as you see, Wagyu beef. I think that's how you say it. Just, I'm just gonna pop this open. Quick. Whoa, look at that. That looks amazing. Amazingly good. I'm just gonna put some of this, just like some, not too much, on the aluminum foil thingy pan thingy and it's still kind of like a tiny bit like frozen but that's good right just gonna put like a little more because yeah, this is what will taste whoa look at that that's a marinade i think marinade. and some of like the sauce part oh okay 
So as you know guys, this is the bulgogi. I think. And it's spicy. It's like the spicy ramen video. It looks like the same meat, but I don't I don't think it is. Whoa. Fat. Good fat. Not for you. Well maybe good for you. I don't really know. It's just a joke. And some more meat. It's kind of like sticking together because of the sauce, I think. Or it's just interrupting. Look at this big piece. Just smear some on here. And just maybe like one more little piece. And now we are moving on to the pork, the belly of the. So I'm just gonna go like this. Just grab some of this. Whoa. Actually, I'm gonna just put it right here. Put that. And maybe this, because we don't want to put that much, because it's supposed to be eaten just like that. But we're just warming some of it, just to try it more. So next, we are going to add sausage. Sausage. So. This is very good sausage, I tried before. Look at this, look at it up close. Look at that fat. I'm just gonna put it in between these. I don't really know where else to put them. Just like that. There, maybe one there. One there. Maybe next. So I'll see you on the grill. Like this. The smoke is everywhere. All right, guys, so we finally finished cooking uh, all our meats, and it was super cold and super windy outside. So we are bringing our meal indoors, and apologies for the, the weird angle, but we're, we have uh, limited space to eat in here. So uh, our camera is going to be off at, at an angle, but we have our food here ready cooked, and we'll show you some close-up. But we got some sausages, some Wagyu beef, some bulgogi. And uh, rice some rice and some avocado oh yeah and some avocado so so let's just go in let's go in straight let's for the try the wagyu first yeah let's try the wagyu first yeah. this is the wagyu let's wait for Devin. oh okay, this so is our cheers. wagyu cheers. american wagyu cheers Good. oh mm. yeah you can't go wrong with wagyu this one's a little tougher mm. it's not the japanese wagyu the japanese wagyu is a little bit more uh, yeah, a bit fattier. Like, like, right? Oh, and we got the sea seaweed. This one's the spicy one. Yep, the red one is the bulgogi. You know what's funny, guys? Look at the sausage. Okay, I'm gonna try. Kind of burnt a little. Oh, how's that? Mm, this one's a lot more tender. The bulgogi? Mhm. Mm All right, let's show them. I think this is what um, Devin just tried. This bulgogi. Uh huh. I'm gonna try the avocado. Let's try it. Mmm. It tastes like that Korean spicy pasty. Mmm. That spicy bulgogi is really, really good. We got more salad right here. I'm gonna some water. I'm gonna add some salad onto my plate. Mmm, ooh, the beets. Add some greens. Mmm. Oh, this is a huge piece. Oh, man. Mmm. I forgot. I opened my seaweed. And this is the, uh, the seaweed that comes in the package. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Sushi. wrap it. Just choking. Oh. Man, this is hard because it's so tight in here. Okay. I'll scoot over. I successfully did it. Now oh. I'm just going to Devin beat it. me to it. Oh yeah, that's Whoa. that's the way I was trying to eat it. This is really good. This sauce has smokiness flavor even though it has smoke added. I'm gonna try it now. It's really good. Really? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. This worth is worth an honorable mm -hmm. mention. Ten out of ten will bang. Get this. Wrap it with rice. Put some meat on it. Put it in your mouth. Ten out of ten. Well, bam. Oh man, that is delicious. That just kicked everything up a notch. Mm. Really good. Show them again. Okay, this time I have the wagyu. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I'm adding both. I also do want to show you. This is pork belly that we got. And I think on the side, they give us some shrimp sauce. So I'm going to dip it in here. Take a look at this. This is what it looks like. Yeah. Wow. It's good. But needs a little bit of heating. Yeah, it's a little cold. Right? Maybe come to put it in the fridge. Yeah. I'm going to try it now. Mm-hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's good. Wait. That's something? But it would be better if it was room temperature. Now, being up here... It's tough. I think this is an older pig. Mm. This one's fatty though, so that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, we came up here when it's still pretty cold. I think during the daytime is maybe about mid-60s, low to mid-60s, and at night is around 30 to 40s. And so, if you're cooking out there, food gets cold really, really, really fast. So that's why we decided to kind of move um, our dinner in here. I didn't even try the sausage yet. Oh, that is a Japanese sausage, right? Mm -hmm. That is burnt. Wah, wah, wah. And I think we have some corn soup right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Corn soup. It looks very, very, very delicious. Mmm. Can I go for it? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Go for it, Devin. We have a big spoon. Very hot, so I'm gonna be careful. Mmm. How is that? It's so good. Is it and really it good? And it has egg in it. Oh. Egg drop. Egg and and chopped up corn. Mm -hmm. Don't they call this like egg drop soup in like Chinese restaurants? It might be something like that. It looks a lot similar to it. Can I try some? Oh okay. yeah. Well. Oh, and there's that. two, so you can have that one. Yeah. I also want to show you our corn that we were grilling out there. So we wrapped this corn Oops. in some tin foil. Oh, you're going for the avocado already? Oh, that one's yours. All right. Oh, can I get some corn? Oh, yeah. You oh, you can see the steam. It's still, still hot. It's very hot. Yeah. So, brother. Okay, careful, it's hot. Going in for my first bite of this grilled corn. It's sweet. Mm. Oh, it's not that sweet. It's actually very meaty. meaty. I thought this was gonna be really, really sweet, but. How can a vegetable be a meat? It's just like a, a lot of substance, but. Not as good as I anticipated. Yeah, this is a little less sweet. Right, it's, it's a little less sweet. Uh, can I try some? Kind of a disappointment. But Oof, we got that at uh, the regular supermarket. And lastly, I do want to show you, we grilled some yam. yam right here. That's the vein one. This is the one that was hulkish. Actually, you could still see some of the veins here. Crazy, huh? I have a knife. So That's so crazy. It's kind of it's kind of gross. But let me see. Oh, you know what? We need some more time on the grill on this. Undercooked. It's not cooked enough because it's a a thick yam. So we're probably gonna have to throw this one back on the grill for maybe another ten to fifteen minutes. But with the with the small little bite that I just had. It did taste pretty good, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this one right here, after it's cooked. Alright. So, what do you guys think of this so far? Good. 
It's pretty good. Actually. Yeah, the Korean barbecue uh, grilling or here out fire. in yeah out in the campfire in the middle of the in the uh, yeah in the middle kind of the of woods the yeah in the middle of the woods. Uh, it may be like 40 to 30 to 40 degree um, temperature right now was challenging but the food is ultimately awesome we got a lot of um, our ingredients from H Mart uh, which is a Korean supermarket and if you guys don't know about it look it up it's amazing we really really love that um, and highly recommended uh, but you know for those that are looking to do uh, some barbecuing uh, here in um, Big Bear. Uh, I actually recommend you guys maybe come when it's a little slightly warmer so that your barbecue does not get so cold um, so fast. And uh, otherwise, I think this was fantastic. Uh, our miniature little getaway was really awesome. It's good to get out of the house a little bit, get some fresh air uh, because we really, really need it. Give us a big thumbs up for coming back out into the wild and be becoming the food navigators again. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already subscribed. And hit that notification bell down below so you get notified when new videos like this come out. Thank you so much for watching and we're gonna continue on with more uh, adventures and traveling and food on the next episode. See ya. See ya.